Today we're going to learn how to animate this blueprint, but in the sequencer. So what if you want to animate your blueprints using sequencer or to trigger some events using the, you guessed it, the sequencer. Let's open the content drawer. So press control space to create a new sequencer. Take a level sequence, press ls for level sequence and call it tutorial. Open that and click your door or any object you want to animate, add it to your sequencer. Go to the plus and let's find something that has to do with events. Event trigger, that's looking good. Let's add a keyframe. So click once to add a keyframe, click another time to add as many keyframes you want for as many events you want and so on. When you add a keyframe, what does this guy do? It does nothing. So let's fix it. Right click, go to properties, go to time, go to endpoint, go to unbound or just properties unbound. Click here, create a new endpoint. Sorry, I hope I didn't confuse you. And with the endpoint here, it will open a blueprint for us, which is, wow, if this is the first time you see this, you can now imagine endless possibilities. For example, if you want to print a string and say hello, we can do that. But what we need to do is to click on the custom event and just make sure that this is enabled. Call in editor, click here, compile, save. Let's go to our level. Let's click on simulate and let's simply do this you see it's triggering gets excited every time this happens because this is one of your questions guys i saw this question on youtube and i answered it in a live stream i didn't do it before and i was so excited when i learned to do it so i'm trying to debug this here click on here to expand the toolbar select no debug object selected select our blueprint and look at it now if we want to play the animation we need to know what animation we want to play so if I open my blueprint, for example, I can see that I have a sliding door animation, a timeline that I can play. And to get to our timeline, we need to kick off an event. So here we have this event. We need to call another event. So if we open our blueprint right now, we have a sliding door animation to open and close the door with a flip flop by pressing E. What we can do or what we should do if you want to play your animation within the blueprint is creating a custom event. So let's right click to create a custom event and let's say play animation and let's create another custom event. Let's call this reverse animation. Let's connect reverse to reverse. So it's still connected here, no problem to our code. And let's connect play to play. And now let's save. And since this is our blueprint, it's already casting to this blueprint. So we already have this BB sliding door 5 pin uh, 2. It's like this blueprint. So when you click and drag now, we can find our custom events. So if you type play animation, you're going to see we have a play animation. And if you want to create another custom event to reverse the animation, so we can click on this keyframe, move it anywhere we like. So let's say here, double click that if you want instead of right click and create uh, an endpoint because we already have one. And now we can search for reverse animation and reverse and play animation. Again, these are two custom events that we simply made here. And you basically can create custom events anywhere. And they are good ways to communicate with blueprints. There are many ways, but this is one of them. Now, if you go here and if you click on play, nothing happens because don't forget to make sure that you have call in editor enabled and to simulate or play. So in this case, we need to simulate. And now, as you can see, it's just working. So I hope you found this lesson useful. I hope now you can happily animate all your blueprints. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps us a lot. And if you have any questions or anything you want me to answer, just leave that in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Take care.